we're no kill shelter, every animal gets a home no matter what. Just period. Once they cross our threshold, um, their futures are golden. So I've uh, been involved with animals my whole life in one way or the other. I worked for Greenpeace for 10 years. Um, and it just seems to be where I'm coming from. It literally starts at the front door. That's where the people with the boxes of kittens come in, or the dog, or, and there's some pretty sad stories. Our uh, canine supervisor will um, look a dog over, evaluate it, um, decide if it's a dog that we feel we could find a home for, and if it seems in good health, um, we'll take it in. Um, they're taking it to the intake room. Do you want me to show you where it is? Sure. Okay. It's, so this is where they evaluate them, and weigh them, and um, get them started. Uh, we'll put a collar on them and either put them to, into holding to wait until maybe they need to be spayed or neutered. Um, sometimes they come in and they can go right into a, a kennel. They could take it and go into one of our get acquainted rooms where they can sit down and uh, spend some time. And if the dog's larger, we have play yards out back and across the way where they can go and throw the ball. And, Get acquainted rooms are too small for golden retrievers and rottweilers. So, and um, people can come and make a day of it, spend as much time as they need. We want them to do that to make it a process, um, so that they can make a, a really educated decision. Okay, and so once once we've gotten to the point where it's agreed that it's a good decision for them to take an, this animal home with them, then uh, we have them come up to the front where they fill out the paperwork, an adoption contract, and. Um, several other things and we have a little pet store that they can go into and get whatever they need. Um, we have food and bowls and toys and all kinds of cute things. Um, and then they pay and then they go. It's, it's really pretty simple. Volunteers come, they, um, we'll, how we track how many volunteers we have and how much time is spent is they sign into this um, notebook right here. 36,000 hours last year volunteers gave of their time, so pretty cool volunteers that we have. There, we, every day we see people walking in with a box of kittens or a box with holes poked in it and it just breaks your heart because you have to send, say no because when you're full you're full and, um, we can't overcrowd because that endangers the animals that are here Um, it also fills a void in people's lives. You know, animals enrich our lives in so many ways. And they, um, they can help you with disease. You know, some people who are ill and they get an animal, it helps them better. To help take care of an animal helps you feel better.